Hey everybody, this is John. In this short tutorial, I want to walk through how to use the new PineScript screener to help narrow down a watch list based on a custom indicator. We'll talk about three different things. Configuring an indicator inside of TradingView so you can use it inside of the PineScript screener. We will create a TradingView watch list using the TradingView screener. And then we'll narrow down that watch list using the PineScript screener. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the daily chart of Apple. I have just one indicator installed here. It's called Moving Averages. If we go into the Indicators dialog, this is the indicator that we'll be using for this example. This is a free indicator that I wrote quite some time ago to help me manage all of my moving averages from within one indicator. And it's important to note here, over on the left, it's marked as a favorite. In order to use a PineScript indicator, inside of the screener, you need to have it marked as a favorite. The goal in this short tutorial will be use the screener to help us find stocks where the moving averages are stacked with the fastest moving average on top and the slowest moving average on the bottom. So the moving averages I currently have configured are shown down here. Our goal is to look for stock where the 10 EMA is above the 21 EMA and the 21 is above the 50, and the 50 is above the 200. So with that, let's head over to the TradingView screener and build a watch list. So now we're looking at the TradingView screener. We can see the URL up here on top, tradingview.com slash screener. And if you look over here on the left, we currently have 14,349 symbols. Let's go ahead and narrow down that list. I'm gonna pull up a watch list I created previously called Level Up Watch List. These are the parameters that I set. I'd like the price to be over 50. Here's the market cap, the average volume, and I'd like the beta to be greater than one. And once we do that, look over here now. We have 173 symbols. I'm gonna choose the first symbol on the list, scroll down to the bottom, select the last entry, and right click and choose this option here to add the selected symbols to a watch list. I'm going to use this watch list up here. However, if you need to create a new watch list, you can do that down here on the bottom. Now that I've added those symbols to a watch list, let's head over to the Pine Screener and narrow that list down. So we're currently looking at the Pine Screener. You can see the URL up here on top, trainingview.com slash Pine Screener. And our first step is to choose the watch list that we just created. So once we open up this list, Here's the screener watch list. And notice over here on the left, we have 173 symbols, which matches with what we did in the trade and view screener. We're gonna choose the indicator. If you recall from a few moments ago, I talked about favoriting your indicators inside a trading view. These are the three indicators that I mentioned. We're gonna choose moving averages for all time frames. And once that loads, you can go into the settings here and customize that indicator however you prefer for the scanning that you'll be doing. For example, I'm gonna go down to the 10 and choose the 10 EMA. Once you do that, any changes that you make will apply to the scan that we'll do in just a moment. So our goal is to create a configuration where we have the fastest moving average on top and the slowest moving average on the bottom. And we do that by going into moving average number one, and we want that to be above moving average number two. We want moving average number two to be above moving average number three. And we want moving average number three to be above moving average number four. And once we do that, we can hit the scan button, and we'll see we now have 50 symbols that meet those criteria. I'm going to select the first symbol, scroll down to the bottom, choose the last. I'm going to do a right click. I'm going to hit this option here to flag the symbols. And now when we go back into trading view, I'm going to pull up that list right here. And once we start scrolling through these, we'll notice now we have the 10 EMA above the 21, 21 above the 50, and the 50 above the 200. So let's look at a few more examples. Same idea, 10 above the 21, 21 above the 50, 
and the 50 above the 200. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for your time. We'll see you in the next video.